So this is going to be my first try on the Shift Robotics. We need to first put these on. So you can normally just use your normal footwear. And I really like the design of these because the straps are really good. They are also adjustable. And you can tighten them within seconds as well. Overall quality feel is actually quite good on these. They are completely deactivated right now. So I'll just turn this on. Back button on. You can tighten your Velcro so that they are really, really secure. Okay, so I did completely whoop, <laughs> unlock this or do the tutorial, get like a tutorial when you use the app. So let me just go outside here very cautiously. I'm on a rooftop here where the ground is very, very smooth. So <laughs> feels kind of weird. With a top speed of up to 11 kilometers an hour. That's kind of like twice the speed of a, you know, that you would normally walk with a range of up to 11 kilometers. And it's meant to have basically a hill gradient of 15 degrees. Now, it'll just, I need to just take my time here. The idea is that you try and walk as normal as possible. Okay, I'm gonna walk towards the camera. I have been trying not to put my feet outwards as if you're on rollerblades. So walk is normal. Okay, now we're picking up speed. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, much better there. So I think the trick is to keep your feet kind of straight and then just walk normal. And then you hear the motors kicking in, and then you pick up speed. Whoa. <laughs> kind of a really weird feeling. I normally review electric scooters or electric bikes, but whoa, these things are actually. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> so if, for example, the braking on this, so they are like motors, there's multiple motors on these. So if you stop immediately, whoa. It's like they have regenerative braking. You go again, whoop. It's probably the strangest thing I've actually tried on the channel. Okay, I'm getting a bit used to now, walking in a straight line. I mean, with a top speed of like, take a look, of 11 kilometers an hour. I mean, you would not really want to go any faster on something like this. They do weigh, I think nine pounds total. So you're gonna have to take that into account. But I mean, wow. Okay, so let's talk about who would these be for? Well, I have to say, if you travel a lot, like if you're in a, airports a lot like there is really big airports around the world i've been in a few and some of them take forever to get from a to b and of course it can take a long time for example to get from one terminal to another and because the batteries are small on these they probably will actually fall within the regulations but uh, this this uh, video is not fancy editing they were just sent to me by Shift Robotics to actually review. Now turn in the corner, take your time turning. So yeah, I think for airport use, they would be really, really good, but because I'm not used to having so much weight on my feet. Whoa. <laughs> I think, yeah, going over bumps, you would need to be careful. They did say on the Shift Robotics site that basically, if you go downhill, they will resist going a higher speed. So basically I'm on skate mode now where it's green. Now, as soon as you lift your foot, it deactivates and you can actually just, they won't go anywhere. So if you need to go up the stairs, 
you can do that no problem. And then to activate skate mode, lift up your foot, tilt it to the left, then it goes green. And another thing, these could be definitely for somebody. I think going forward, it's kind of funny to see how things are going. These are AI powered. So they kind of go by the way your legs are moving. That's kind of the way they walk, which is absolutely nuts to be honest. But they do actually a really good job. The slower you walk, of course, the slower the skates go. But I definitely did get up to top speed there. I mean, just to take a look, the quality is actually, seems really good on these built very well. They are like IP54 rated. You get, of course, USB-C charging capability. You can see I'm actually gliding here. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's try and walk normal. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And keep it in a straight line. The trick is, of course, not to look at your feet. Just look straight ahead. It's like as if you're learning to go on an electric unicycle. If you're, okay, we're getting, whoa. We're definitely, whoa. And then we stop. I feel like a kid on a on a rooftop here. I hope nobody's looking at me on camera saying, what is that weird guy doing? Let's try and actually, let's try and get down a hill and see from a safety aspect if they actually do stop. And then let's try coming up a hill. Now there is a car park ramp here that is very steep. So I'd be surprised. So let's go. So you can see the hill here. So it's, it is a, you can see, sorry, the decline will go down, so let's have a look. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, okay, whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay, so nothing actually happens. It detects when you're going down a decline, and it actually locks, you can see here. So it actually locks the wheels. Okay, let's try and do the opposite. Can we get up this gradient here? I hope so. Let's go. Wow, whoa. This is brilliant, take a look. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, that is literally, I'm hardly putting any effort into that. Okay, so this is what it's like going down the hill. They basically break. So you can't fall over, nothing can slip. Let me just show you again on camera. This is a really steep ramp. So let's just walk normal, sport mode. Very good, really like it. You could turn as if you're skating on rollerblades, like this. There is something kind of annoying about these skates. It's not really the motor noise. It's more so the noise of the wheels. And they would be the front wheels from what I can see, making that noise clacking because they're just kind of like a plastic wheel. So if they were like a rubber wheel, I mean, that would be really nice because it kind of feels like if you were in a public area that people would be kind of looking at you. That's why I kind of came to the rooftop here. <laughs> but I think my verdict would be this. I'll talk about the price now. I'm after, been on these now for 20, 30 minutes overall. And funny enough, I do actually like them. And they do have a purpose. Especially for people who have kind of, some people who have specific mobility issues. Maybe, maybe they would be good for them. Or warehouse walkers, they'd be excellent to get from A to B. But of course, you would have to build up muscles on your legs because of the actual weight of these shift, ro shift robotic arrows or moonwalker arrow. So they would be for those type of people. And of course, people who travel a lot. So the people who travel a lot, but to get from one terminal to another, 
you could do it twice as fast but I would like to see improvements such as the wheels the noise on the wheels of these is kind of annoying motor noise is actually not too bad I think the speed is more than enough I think they're really a great invention and I'm excited to see how things progress in the future God knows only what can come out but let's talk about the price they're just over $1,000 now the price i think is i don't know maybe it's a little bit too high but you're paying for something that is completely new to the market more or less you're paying for i guess of course the batteries are the most expensive thing in anything to be honest but the quality of the skates is actually uh, quite good straps are brilliant motors of course play a part because don't forget there is multiple motors on these right underneath here so do i love these moonwalker arrows from shift robotics yes i do and i'm excited to see where they actually go with the development of these god knows what the next model will be i have a feeling that they're going to be able to make them more lightweight less clunky less noisy and improve them as time goes forward so watch this space with Shift Robotics because I have a feeling it's going to be one of them companies that's not going to come out with these crazy inventions that we're probably going to end up loving and probably going to end up using in the near future. If you have enjoyed this kind of fun video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.